Good morning. This is the last day of May 2022. This is the day that according to what we live, Mary met Elizabeth. And guess where I am? You can see this, uh, that west part of Jerusalem. The Holocaust Museum is to your right side. You cannot see it from here, but it's like three minutes walking. And Adassa in Kerem, it's the hospital on top of the hill. And we are, in a way, next to En Kerem, which is according to what, uh, to what we believe is the birthplace of uh, John the Baptist. <clears throat> and um, the place that Mary met Elizabeth, the mother of... Um, of John the Baptist. Then what we are doing now, <clears throat> sorry, we are walking from him, from Jerusalem back to the house of Zachariah, the father of, uh, of John the Baptist, or in that matter, the future father of uh, John the Baptist. And we want to wonder, at least I want to wonder, what's happened to him when he met the angel at the temple. We will dedicate the tour to everyone who watch it and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. But Jacqueline uh, from Netherlands asked me to buy her the Jerusalem cross and she said feel free to bless it everywhere and this is the special day and we're gonna bless it together with you at the village of John the Baptist. Then let's uh, let's start a walk through the village of uh, one of the hills of Judea. The name En Kerem is, um, is actually not mentioned in the Bible. Uh, what the Bible, the could look actually mentioned was the one of the hills villages uh, around Jerusalem, but. He, they didn't mean, I didn't mention in Kerem. In Kerem, it's the spring of the vineyard in English. A little bit steep. And we are doing it until we will reach the beginning of the roots. Let me talk a little bit about the cross of Jerusalem. The cross of Jerusalem, it's a unique cross. If you do have that cross in your house, it means that you've been in Jerusalem or someone that you really love brought Jerusalem to your house. The main cross is Jerusalem itself. The four other crosses can be whatever you want. For five stigmatas together with Jerusalem, uh, four Gospels, and so on and so on. Ho, ho, ho. Here it is, I'm reaching the main road. And slowly, slowly, you will see more and more and more a Mediterranean landscape. Uh, most of the tourists that I'm taking are not doing it because um, they want to see everything in one day. Uh, but if you want to be different, you can join me to one of those tours in the nature of Jerusalem, but try not to do that in August. Then in that matter, it's uniqueness cross, and uh, it's made of olive wood, uh, very good in quality uh, cross and wood. And, um, oh, hello me. Ah, the smell of Jerusalem. Such an amazing thing. See, even the signs tells you everything, but in Hebrew. Mainly because they didn't think that tourists will be here, but we can start something new. And so right now we are forgetting the city of Jerusalem 
and we are walking with a lot of doubts about the vision that happened. Oh, look at the cross, look at your cross. That happened, let's say, a little bit more than 2,000 years ago. Let us remind ourselves what's happened there. But for that, this time I need the Bible. And let's bless the cross on the Holy Land. And let's start to read the Bible. People ask me how long the tour is to Ankarim from Jerusalem. Uh, it's around 30, 35 minutes, but we will see together. Um, uh, we will see together today. We will, um, you will know exactly how long the video will be. It's from Luke chapter one. I think the birth of John the Baptist is only at look. Uh, we will start from uh, five. In the time of King Herod of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah. Zechariah in Hebrew, it's God remembered him. Yah, it's the name of God, one of the name of God. And Zechariah, the one who uh, it's like a memory, someone that never been forgotten. That named Zechariah, who belonged to a priestly division of Abijah. In Hebrew, Abaya. Um, there are 12, 24, sorry, uh, priest families. And we are talking about one of the families that exist. We do have evidence in so many uh, places in the Bible, uh, the Jewish Bible, the Talmud and the Mishnah about um, uh, that priestly family. Then his wife Elizabeth was always uh, also descended to Aaron. Aaron is the first priest ever at the time of uh, Moses. It's so important for us because um, it was the most important one, the well-known one. And if Elizabeth, which is a name in Hebrew, was Elisheva, Elisheva, uh, the meaning of Elisheva, I'm not sure that I'm, um, I, I know for sure, but Eli, it's another name of God. Sheva, it's, uh, I think it's seven, or it can be something else. If you're talking about that, fig trees, olive trees. And it's quite hot, but I don't mind. It's the visitation day. And I'm gonna be there on time for you. And um, far forget, if you want to have the same cross or different crosses, go to the link of buy me a coffee and you can have, you can buy yourself one of those crosses or the Bible. And um, I will bless it in one of the places in Jerusalem more olive trees and you will you will you will have your own private uh, video that I will upload to YouTube and this video is the same idea and of course I will send you the link uh, the cross or the Bible or the rosaries to your house that is the future um, figs. Remember that Jesus cursed that tree, but you know that tree in another 
uh, another place in the Bible, uh, Betfudge, the place that Jesus uh, started his tour as a Messiah to Jerusalem, uh, Betfudge in in the, um, in Hebrew or in English, uh, Betfudge it's in English it's Bet Paki, but Bet Paki is the house of the young figs. And you can see the young figs on the tree right now. We can see another one bigger right here in front of you. I'm the only one here. It's usually like that. And you know what? I'm happy. Done. You will get the. the cross to your house, the video to YouTube, and the cross is actually blessed automatically in Jerusalem and especially in the holy places of the city. Then Jacqueline, you are lucky because it's a special holiday. Then we know that, Mary, that Elizabeth well, came from a priest family, and she was a cousin of Mary, the mother, or the future mother of Jesus. She's not pregnant yet. And um, then in that case, now we know for sure that Mary came from a priest family as well. Because from time to time, people actually tell me, if Joseph that came from a priest family, it's not the father of Jesus, then how can it be that Mary is from a priest uh, family, a priestly family? And now we know who. Both of them were rightness in the sight of God, observing the Lord's commands and this. Uh, Decreases bless me, but they were children. Uh, they were children because Elizabeth was not able to convince, and they were both very old. At the ancient time, they didn't understand that a man can be the reason for it as well. I don't know why you mention it, but it was very important for me that women will understand that it's not, it's no one's fault. I look at the birds, I'm trying, uh, that's smarter than me, they know, oh, I don't know if you saw, I'm trying to take a picture for, of that for you, but I'm not sure that I did it correctly. That. Now we know that they were old, and they couldn't have children, and now we are going to the temple. Once, when Zacharias' division was on duty, and he was serving as a priest before God, then remember 24 uh, priest families, and they have kind of a mission every time Two priest family must be in the temple. That's their job. <clears throat> then, you were chosen by lot, according to the custom of the priesthood, to go into the temple of the Lord and burn incense. Incense were very important. First of all, it actually gives you a different mood. Immediately when you smell interest in the church, hmm, I feel the holiness. But at the temple, they used to sacrifice animals. The smell wasn't so good, let's say it like that. Then in that case, the best way to enjoy it is by burning the incense. Then here it is, that was his job. He was a launder. And uh, we know that the people were waiting outside. And when 
the time for the burning of incense came, all the assemble worshippers were praying outside. You must understand, to the holiest uh, places of the temple, only the priest could enter. To the holy of the holy, which was at Jerusalem, on the site of the Dome of the Rock of today, to that site only the high priest could enter there and um, pray. It happened once a year in the Day of Atonement in Yom Kippur. That shows you that the regular people, beautiful people, like us, we cannot go into the Holy of the Holy uh, or some other holy site in the Jewish temple. It's the house of God. You can understand it. We are going... Uh, we will read from 11. Remember, it's Luke chapter 1. And this is something that will be difficult for Zachariah to understand. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him standing at the right side of the altar of, the, of incense. It's a perfect place to meet a divine angel in that place. Remember, it's the house of God. There's so many messages that people got in that place and here it is an angel is in front of you now even though you are a priest when an angel appears in front of you it's always different can you feel the fear can you feel the question marks what's happening here when Zacharias saw him he was and gripped with fear but the angel said to him do not afraid Zechariah your prayers has been heard now there's another person very important one who will hear that do not don't be afraid you know um, uh, don't be afraid soon do you know who I'm talking about mm -hmm. true Mary in the same chapter I don't know. I wish to see an angel, except of my daughter. Um, she is an angel. Yes. But I want to see an angel. I'm not sure that I'm as good as I can to see a divine figure. But even though I want to see it, I don't know how, uh, what will happen to me the minute the angel will come. Mm. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you are to call him John. Sorry, Yohanan in Hebrew. Yohanan in Hebrew. And remember, there's there's a, a, a usually names has got a very important biblical meaning. Yohanan. God is gracious. Mm -hmm. Sounds better now, Yohanan. But most of you know it by John, except of Johan, my uh, best friend from the Netherlands. Then, this is a problem, and you will, we will hear it later on. Um, at that time, the custom was to name the newborn son by the name of the father. For Americans, you know it so well. Zachariah Jr. That is what everyone accepted or expected. Um, think about a small village. And we are heading to that small village. <coughs> Very religious Jewish village. There's a priest family that lives there. Very uh, important. And to the priest there, to Zechariah, something strange happening. 
I don't know if you can see it, but that is the first houses of uh, Enkerim. Then, first of all, she was too old to have children. Suddenly, she's going to be pregnant. That, 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 you know what? They, the neighbors and the family can see it as a miracle. No problem. But John and not Zachariah Jr. Are you crazy? Is that your son? Is that your child? This is a problem. Especially when everyone knows each other. You know, they know the history of your family. All right. Something can be fishy there. And I'm now walking through the Kerem. He's supposed to tell it to a wife, his wife, but we know what will happen to him soon. He won't be able to talk. What should he, what are you gonna say? I met an angel. The angel told me that you're gonna be pregnant, although we tried so many times. What we'll tell to our uh, mother-in-law? What are we going to tell the neighbors around it? There will be so many questions. Ooh. And the angel actually continues to say, He will be a joy and delight to you. And many will rejoice because of his uh, birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He is never to take wine or other from uh, drink, and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he is born. Hmm. First of all, to remind me, uh, Samson. Um, remember, he didn't drink wine, and it's kind of a Jewish priest. Hmm. Another question, another, another thing to understand. He is already, he is already important before he actually was born. Huh. What I should tell my wife. I'm heading to Elizabeth in about 10 minutes. I will reach Elizabeth, our house in Enkerim. Oi, 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 as the Jews uh, used to say. He will bring back many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God. At that time, I'm not sure that he thought that the angel talks about Jesus. Jesus wasn't there yet. The Jews are waiting for the Messiah to come. Hmm. But you know, they were waiting so long, for so long that it will come in about a year from now. We are going to end Kerem. It already took me 23 minutes. You can see the word En Kerem in Hebrew, as you can understand. Um, not a lot of sign here are in English. Look at that beautiful olive tree. You can see the beginning of the olive right there in front of you. Can you see it? It's like half, a, half an inch, one centimeter. No, uh, they will harvest it on October. And we are at the, at the, end, of, uh, the end of March. A 
another thing that he said, and he will go on before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah. Now we, we know what the Jews believes that just before um, the Messiah will come, Elijah will appear. And here we are giving a future John the Baptist the power of Elijah. If he is Elijah, then the future, the good future of the Messiah is next, next door, next, I mean, in immediate, let's say, a few years from now. Oh, a lot of mission for one child. Not easy, not easy for me, he said to himself. And he asked so many questions, and then he says something. Um, that will be, I, I won't be surprised, I, I, I think I would say the same thing. Zechariah asked the angel, how can I be sure of this? I am an old man and my wife is well along years. You must understand. Gabriel, and this is the angel, is a messenger of God. If he tells you something, it means that God told you something. Are you going to doubt it? But when it happens physically, suddenly you forget a lot of things, and that might be one of those things. The angel said to him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God. And I have been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. It's good news. You actually asked for those that news for so long. And here it is. It's happening to you. And now, you will be silent and not able to speak until the day this happens. Because you did not believe my word, which will come true at their appointed time. Another problem. From right now, Zachariah cannot speak. So beautiful, isn't it? I'm sweating as hell, but I feel the Holy Spirit. I'm talking about myself. I'm now talking about Zakaria. Zakaria is walking to her house. It's like, say, let's say, 10 minutes from, from his house. And uh, he's got so many things to tell his wife, but he cannot speak. You can imagine what will happen to to Elizabeth when her husband is looking at her without the uh, ability of speaking. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zachariah. I'm talking about the temple and wondering why he stayed so long in the temple. When he came out, he couldn't speak. To them, they realized he had seen a vision uh, in the temple, for he kept making signs to them, but remained uh, unable to speak. And that's okay. That's the easy part. That's the easy part. Um, when the time, when the time. Uh, when his time of service was completed, he returned home. And that's what we are doing now. In one sentence, one sentence took me 29 minutes. After this, his wife Elizabeth became pregnant and for five months remembered circumcision. Why? Why she didn't want... Uh, the people to see her 
she knew that something is very important happening. If she will say to the family, I'm pregnant because God wants me to be pregnant, that's one thing. Because see now the house is of Karen. But if she will say more of that beautiful biblical village, very rich one, but why not? Zachariah was a priest. He had two houses in there, Jerusalem, according to tradition. Then to tell the parents, uh, the neighbors, the family, that he has got a mission and his name will be Yohanan, that is strange, very strange. The Lord has done this for me, she said. In these days, he has shown his favor and taken away my disgrace among the people. She couldn't have children. This is not so good in uh, Judaism because in Judaism, you have to have more, lots of children. And she's got no one. And now we're skipping the almost same story of uh, uh, at Nazareth with the same angel with a very important mother, Mary. And we're going straight to the birth of John the Baptist. When it was time for Elizabeth to have her baby, she gave birth to a son. And neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord has shown her great mercy and they shared her joy. On the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child. This is a very important thing. To circumcise a child is to have a connection between God and the child. This is the Jewish way. It's a part of the Bible, the Jewish Bible. And at that day, until then, you are keeping in a secret the name of, of the child. No one knows. No one knew the name of the child, except of their parents, of course. Then on the eighth day, and that's 59, on the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child, and they were going to name him after his father, Zachariah. Hmm, now we know it. Now we can understand that sentence. But the mother spoke up, because the father couldn't, and said, he, he, no, he, he is not to be called John. Sorry, he is to be called Yohanan, John. They, the neighbors and the family, say to her, there is no one among your relative who has that name. Uh, then they made sign to, the, to his father to find out what is going on, what, what he would like to name the child. He asked for writing tablet and everyone's uh, looked at it. He wrote, his name is John. Poof. Can you understand what's happening here? Can you understand what's happening between the neighbors and the family? They are looking at each other and asking so many questions. Is that is your son? Who is the father? Oh. Immediately, his mouth was open and his throat set free. Thought this. And he began to speak, praising God. All the neighbors were filled with awe and thought out that the hill country of Judea, people were talking about all these things. Everyone who heard this wondered about it, asked uh, ask him, what then is the child going to be? For the Lord's hand was with him. Mm. 
and this is the best time to enter to and Karen and to the church that we believe John the Baptist was born and circumcised and um, as we know Mary was there uh, as well and the Benedictus that is the prayer the Zachariah song uh, we will talk about that song we will read it for you in Hebrew then uh, organize your Bible in any language at uh, Luke chapter 1 67 and when we reach the church we will read it in Hebrew while you can read it in your language the church that we are going to see is mainly from the 11th 12th century but it was built on ancient churches that are remains from the 5th century church been destroyed uh, maybe by the Samaritan or the Persian later on but it took them so I mean after the crusader time it took them a long time to build it the local Muslims didn't allow them to build a church they used this is stable um, and only in the 18th century they got a permit from the Ottomans to build the church then they renovate it and base their church a new church on top of uh, the Crusader church we found there a mikveh a mikveh to Jewish ritual bath and that actually tells us that it used to be at the time of Jesus I'm talking about a mikveh from the first century um, then we believe that the mikveh is uh, very important for us because first of all we know that that was a Jewish village and secondly the most important people that must purify their body a few times let's say at, at least once once a um, uh, uh, week uh, for the men and once a month for the women and if you are a priest you need to do that even more than that, than to have a mikveh in your house tells you that we are talking about a very rich family or important family, priest family. You can see the tower of the uh, birthplace of John. We are going to visit a beautiful uh, Catholic church owned by the Franciscans. And the monastery is in front of you. You see the wall. Of it and although it's gonna be sunny and that is an easy way to reach I'm turning left you can see where we are now and I'm turning left let's make a round tour around the church then the church is old there are evidence from the first century and if there's a mikveh, it means that it can be a priest house. And we know the Zachariah is a... Is a oh, look at the, look at the bu Bougainvillea. Almost every picture in Karam, it's a medical picture. In the Crusader time, and even before, there were two churches, or main churches. Here is the birthplace of Jesus and uh, um, some a winter house. Zachariah, as some of the Christian believes, was a rich man. And because it's very hot here in summertime, they built themselves another place that according to what we believe, that's going to be the visitation, visitation church. And after that beautiful church, uh, we will visit um, the visitation church, but you will see it from here soon. Whew. It's hot. 
difficult to breathe. Last time that I was there, it was like two months ago, and the weather was amazing. Then it took me 40 minutes to reach the church, another two or three minutes to enter the church. It's supposed to be open, but you know, it's a church. They can do whatever they want. There are some evidence that the house of Zachariah was here. Uh, early evidence from, I think, second century. It's based on Provangelion of James. But they started to talk about the house of Zachariah and Elizabeth uh, only in the 8th, 10th century. Oh, the first man that I see today. Bokatov. Good morning, I said. Ahoma. The wall lane. There, you can see that the signs in Israel are in Hebrew, Arabic, and English. And mainly because uh, Hebrew and Arabic are two official languages. Hello, doggy. I hope that you're a good doggy. Yes, you are. Look how beautiful it is. The church today is under renovation. The beauty of it, if they're still renovating it, is less, uh, less better than it used to be. But we are heading to the um, cave, the grotto, that we believe John the Baptist was born. Hello, doggy again. Oh, the smell is amazing. And there's a shade, although I'm sweating, it's still better. Ah, look at the flowers. The monastery is around us. Oh, look at the beautiful lady. Bokertov. Bokertov lecha. Oh, look how beautiful it is. There's so many artists in that village. I wanted to go in through here, not through the other side. Uh, mainly because I wanted you to feel the energy of John the Baptist village. Ceramic studio is right here. But we are heading to the church. And cross your fingers, the, the church uh, doors are supposed to be open. This is the Franciscan Menza. Usually the door is closed, but here you can see it. I know, I know. You can see the tower, and they tell me, no, you cannot go from here. Don't worry, I will go through the entrance. Uh, mainly because I want uh, to read the Benedict, Benedictus, but in Hebrew. Do you have your Bible with you? Oh, look at that dog. Not nice to do that in front of us. I wonder if it's going to be crowded today, mainly because of the visitation day. But remember, the visitation day, uh, church is not here. And the church 
portals are open. It, it's called the bah John Baharim Church, John <coughs> in the Mountains Church. Um, mainly because there are uh, another church that um, that you might go there, and it's John in the Desert. Look at the tablets. Uh, all over in so many language. This is the Ukraine one. And uh, we know what's happening now in Ukraine. Then let's pray that nothing bad will happen. Because in Ethiopia, Sri Lanka, Japanese. But we are heading to the Hebrew one. In Hebrew, we are reading from right to left. Are you ready? It's from Luke, Lucas in Hebrew, Aleph, first letter, one, from 79 to 68, 68 to 79, that you know. Then, Baruch. ברוך אדוני אלוהי ישראל, אשר פקד את עמו ובדות שלח לו, והצמיח לנו קרן ישועה בבית דוד עבדו, דוד, דיוויד, the third uh, uh, row to the left, דיוויד עבדו, כדבר אדוני מעולם בידי, ביד נביאיו הקדושים, לאושיינו מיד אויב ומיד כל שונא, לעשות חסד. עם אבותינו ולזכור לעולם בריתו אשר נשבע לאברהם אבינו. אברהם. אברהם. אבינו, הפאדר, להצילנו מיד אויב, לתיתנו לעבדו בעין מורה, בקדושה ובצדק לפניו כל ימינו. ולך, הילד, הילד, the child, the boy, uh, John, נביא אל עליון יקרא, כי לפניו תלך לפנות דרך אדוני. אדוני היברו, there are four letters, and you can see that here, the ways to read it, but here, and that word, you don't, I mean, we didn't know how to read the name of God, and there are at least 16 ways to read it, then the Jews are not even daring to read the name of God. They say, God, but you know it has Jehovah, Jehovah, or let me see if he will stun me. All right. Lehodiyah Yeshuat Adonai Le'amo. Yeshuat. Yeshu. Jesus. Salvation. Adonai Le'amo. Ki islach lechat'am, ki rov rachama v'imanu, v'darach kochav mishamayim, pakod yifrikenu, la'ir li'yoshvei choshech v'tzalmavet, v'lasim pa'amenu l'derech shalom. Shalom, you know that word, peace. And they are renovating the church. Then we cannot see what's happening there. But before we will enter the church, and I can see that the renovation is still on, I want you to see that um, in the Second World War, the Italian took uh, the French, Italian Franciscans. Um, on that place, but the British didn't like it. You know, Italy and Britain weren't good friends, and they turned it into an army camp. You can see that the stones here are different than that stone because by mistake, they destroy part of it, but because of it, they found out the lower part of, uh, of the church from the 12th century, and we, uh, they're talking about Byzantine church. I don't know if you can see something. I can see the light there. Byzantine chapel with mosaics and remains of the building. Then we are going back to um, the early time. Uh, 
and right there you cannot see it but I'm pointing on it uh, you can see the arch to the right of it is the entrance to the um, mikveh Jewish little bar the mikveh itself as there although I'm not sure that they, yeah they didn't actually change um, the, the it to mikveh but this is uh, you're talking about Herodion water system it's not it's Herod it's uh, mikveh which for them it's even more important that it actually tells us that this used to be um, a priest house let me take the hat off and now I'm gonna take out the um, cross of Jacqueline from Netherlands to bless it at the place that Jesus, uh, sorry, John the Baptist was born then it will take me yes, um, a minute, you won't, you won't feel it. Now, let's go in, Jacqueline. I'm now with you, entering the beautiful church. And we know that beneath us there are remains. And look at the beautiful mosaic. Let me show you a little bit of it. And there is a description from the 5th century that talks about the martyrs, hell martyrs of God. We don't know uh, who built the church in the 5th century. We don't know who were the martyrs. But what we know is that in the 5th century, the Samaritan were against the Christians. It might be there. It might be the house of John the Baptist at the 5th century as well, but we don't know. There's no uh, other source that tells us. It. You can see the renovation. It's not easy to renovate the church, but you can see how beautiful it could be with the tiles, the blue tiles. And there, were, there are a lot of pictures painting, but not today. the apps. Mary is there. Ah, sorry. Um, Elizabeth is there, pregnant. Oh, Mary, actually. She was here as well. Franciscus and Clara. But we are heading straight Okay, hey, I'm the only one here together with you and Jacqueline. The cave is um, how can people who were born in the cave? Jesus was, was born in the cave too. Because uh, usually at that time, people lived in caves and it was the if you're talking about the summit house, it was the chilliest place here, better place to have to have a child too. Then you can see here. Mm, looks like Mary holding the son of uh, uh, of Elizabeth, and or I think so. I'm not sure that Elizabeth could actually um, stand like that at that moment. Um, here you can see John the Baptist, Baptist people at the Jordan River. Oh, sorry, here is Baptist Jesus. And here he might be preaching. But the most important part is the place that he was born. You 
you see here the birth of John the Baptist, the meeting of Elizabeth and uh, Mary, and we are right on this day. And look at the head of John the Baptist, although we just re-headed the end of John the Baptist. The paintings are not here. One of them is might be from El Greco. But right there, they used to have a stone, a rock. And um, that was a place that um, John the Baptist used to play next to. And uh, a Muslim guy wanted to turn it into plaster. Then he warmed, uh, he took the stone warm the oven and the minute he did it uh, it's been explored he realized that this is something very important then he brought back the stone to there now the next video will be right there this is the visitation church and we're gonna go there it's difficult to see it from here but you can see the tower right here next to it is the russian church what a peaceful place isn't it if you like that video, please subscribe my channel. If you reach here, it's like one hour. It means that you are more important than so many others. And if you want to, if you want, I will be more than happy if you will send that video to all of your friends. And if you want to help me to maintain that site, uh, you can go to um, the description of my video and look for PayPal or buy me coffee links and uh, you can help me by buying the crosses or donation and um, if you want to find it send me a message and I will send you the link please the one who rich one hour and so everything please mention it it's so important for me to know if I'm doing something good or bad Thank you very much. Bye-bye.